So today we are looking at the book Devil on the Cross, uh, written by Ngugi wa Thiongo. And this book follows the character Jacinta, Jacinta Waringa. And um, here's a small backstory about Jacinta that is narrated later on in the book. When she was in high school, she used to live with her uncle studying in Nakuru and her uncle introduced her to this rich old man who used to make advances at her and finally she gave in to him you know uh, and she got pregnant by him so afterwards the rich old man dumped her and uh, she gave birth to a beautiful baby girl but um, now that destroyed the trajectory of her education. But ultimately she went back to school and um, she left the kids to be taken care of by her parents. And uh, she finished school, became a secretary, and that is where the book begins, where she's a secretary in a company and she turns down her boss's advances and she's fired. She goes to her boyfriend, tells her about, you know, the boss making advances at her. And the boyfriend actually accuses her of cheating, accuses her of being the boss's mistress. So he also dumps her. And um, because misfortunes come in triplets, the next morning her landlord uh, demands increase in rent. And when she refuses, he throws her out using goons. So the story now follows Waringa as she travels back home to her home place is called in Ilmorog. And uh, she boards this matatu. But before she boards the matatu, she meets a stranger who gives her an invite to a very interesting feast. It's called the Devil's Feast, where they're going to choose seven experts in theft and robbery so she boards this unroadworthy matatu and together there are very interesting passengers who come to play uh, very important roles later on in the book so uh, the conversations that are had by the passengers are about imperialism colonialism the whites and the blacks in different perspectives finally we get to the heart of the story where the competition starts and uh, the competition is interesting because they are choosing the best thief. So as a thief, for you to qualify to be top seven, you have to tell the people your name, your wife, how many mistresses you have, the models of cars you drive, and the models of cars your wives and mistresses drive. And then you tell the people your methods of cheating. So there are uh, a number of thieves there. Some are huge, humongous, and some are very thin. But some are stealing lands. Others are, you know, stealing from people by extorting from them. Jacinta gets out, and while she's out, she gets this vision-like. And uh, there's a voice that is speaking to her, and that is where we come to know of the guy that wins this competition. So the guy that wins the competition is called um, Kemenderi. Now Ngogi has a way of giving character names that have meanings. That is Kikuyu for grinder. Now the guy gets his name from how he used to punish people. He used to get in his Land Rover then, you know, make men and women lie down and drive over them. So he literally used to grind them. And um, he wins the competition by uh, saying that for him to steal, you have to touch on every aspect. And he has like three notes in his quote unquote manifesto, milk their sweat, drink their blood and devour their brains. So he says you have to institutionalize people, number one, in religious institutions, make them believe in, you know, in the religion of the drinkers of human blood and you know open schools where children go to them and they praise tyranny and because basically that is tyranny and after that 
uh, institute entertainment systems where people come to see films that praise the drinkers of human blood after that get uh, publications that basically denigrate people that oppose this system and finally for people that do not abide to religious institutions open clubs for them and with that you're able to gain all their brains uh akoti said that a brain is the largest factory that manufactures poison and that is where he aims to get them so jacinta gets this inner vision and when she wakes up and goes back to the cave where the competition is taking place she realizes it's true so uh the story then jumps to uh two years later where jacinta now is making you know progress in her life she is a mechanical engineer and she's engaged to this guy one of the guys that was in the matatu with her and um he's called uh, gatwiria so waringa and gatwiria are engaged you know she's building her life and now they are going home for introductions to go tell the Twiria's parents that they are engaged. So when they get to the Twiria's home, uh the invited guests for the ceremony are actually the thieves that were taking part in the competition. But that's not even the most surprising part. The thing is Waringa sees Gatwiria's father and it turns out that Gatwiria's father is the rich old man that impregnated her when she was in high school and as if that is not enough this rich old man calls her aside and is propositioning her asking her if she can be you know his mistress so waringa is so mad she takes a gun out of her purse and shoots him So the story ends when Waringa has walked away and Katuria is torn between running after her or going to his dead father. That has been our story for today. <laughs>